Okay, Pasa Rasa. We're gonna do an update about the yard and what's going on in November. It's November 10th and it's 50 degrees outside. Can you imagine for Denver, Colorado? We usually have snow out here. And we have Squirtle. He's going into hibernation. How's he gonna deal with these temperatures? And inside the greenhouse, it's 10 degrees or 15 degrees hotter than it is on the outside. And I'm telling you guys, with the fall being here, we picked up all the leaves, we added it to the compost. And what happens is that everything is a singularity process here at La Casa de Blanc, the exotic garden. And when the chickens do their business, we clean that up and put it on top of the leaves that we received from the neighbors, as well as with their kitchen scraps. And we put that over there and it makes compost. Their poop actually heats up the leaves and allows it to break down faster. And the same with my aquaponic setup that I'm about to show you guys real quick. The fish do their business and their poop feeds the plants. And the plants clean the water which allows it to go back into the system and it cleans it for the fish and the turtle. Now Squirtle's going into hibernation, so you won't be seeing him here today. But if you check out my YouTube shorts, he's in there and Squirtle's the man. So check him out and check him out in the spring for future videos. And I also have the Blues of Bunkin and my other boy, Skeleton, over there in the other pond. And I'll show you that there here in a little bit. But things did not survive here in this greenhouse, so it's hard to insulate. Man, I gotta pick up my game. My greenhouse game, that is. So, without further ado, I'm gonna tell you guys about the things that died and didn't die. The celery survived, the basil died, the rosemary, and thyme have a thick stalk, it's a woody stalk. And those ones are more hardy and more tolerant to those colder temperatures. So as winter comes along, I'm a little bit scared of my aquaponic system. But if you guys don't get out there and try, how are you guys gonna learn? So I challenge everybody, spend 30 minutes on your passions. I mean, those 30 minutes will add up. Not very quickly, you won't notice. But at the end, you'll be like, geez, look at all of this that I have achieved. And that's what I'm looking at today. And that I'm grateful for the blessings that I get from my Creator. So, without further ado, let's look at what's going on. So the fish do their business and there's a pump that brings the water up here and feeds these roots and I've been pulling them strawberries out of the front of the yard and we've been cleaning those beds that's where we get all of our compost mixture so now it's draining back in here and this system is nowhere near perfected I just threw this together with what I have and we're seeing what our mistakes are going to be, what we have to do, and where we got to go. We don't worry about the past. We worry about the future and where we're going. And that's Squirtle's enclosure. And like I said, I have YouTube shorts where you can see him roaming on beautiful days. So we're always planting for future. Whatever is growing will help the soil to regenerate and add nutrients because the sun will be feeding it in the winter. So you want to do a ground cover. You always want to be covering your ground, especially if you're doing no-till because weeds will come. If you don't want the weeds to come, keep planting. So as you can see, our seeds from the lettuce, we had a couple over here. And what we did is we just went like that, boom. 
And look, they survived. So as these get stronger and healthier, we'll start filling up this section over here. And we're not gonna have use for this. So we're gonna take this out. We got seeds here that we're gonna save. So we're gonna clean all this area out. We're gonna be planting for the future. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna let you go on that note. This wasn't a long video, but it was just to let you know what's going on in November. And Squirtle's enclosure. So you guys, I need you guys to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I wanna thank all my 246 subscribers. It hasn't even been a year yet. And I'm just so blessed and I'm grateful. Thank you guys. Uh oh, we got to get Cecil in the picture. We won't let you guys go yet. That's Cecil the man. So if you check out hashtag Cecil the man, you'll see him on my YouTube shorts. Cecil, say hi. All right, love you guys. Peace.